Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Tom Rickard and Command Sergeant Major hey, Rodwell hey, Forbes hey, are joined hey, by Captain hey. Jurgen Luft of the German Navy and Lieutenant Colonel Luigi Bramati of the Italian Military for last Sunday's ceremony remembering 35 German and Italian POWs from World War II who were laid to rest here at Fort Meade. These German and Italian POWs were housed at a Fort Meade detention camp during the war and later died during captivity. The observance is held every year and serves to highlight the alliances the three nations have built since the war. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. We're going a little early this week because of Thanksgiving. This week, the post tree lighting is coming up, the Army Field Band holiday concert schedule, and a big boost for transition assistance. These stories and more, but first, some news of interest to everyone Fort Mead traffic. The Director of Public Works announced this week that they'll be changing the traffic lights to flash red at night from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. daily. The Installation Traffic Safety Council recommended the change after receiving numerous suggestions from the community. The rule for four-way flashing red lights, you must come to a complete stop and proceed only when safe. The work to change the lights is expected to be completed by December 22nd. Meanwhile, last week we announced that the U.S. Labor Department awarded Maryland a $4.3 million grant that will aid transitioning service members and their spouses help meet the demand for a highly skilled workforce here in Maryland. Here's Anne Arundel County Executive Steve Hsu making the announcement last week at the McGill Training Center press conference. Today we are helping bridge those gaps by establishing the Maryland Core Career Connect, or C3, an initiative to help connect our veterans and their families with jobs as they transition out of military life. Made possible with a more than $4 million federal grant, this initiative targets transitioning service members and recently separated veterans to help ensure that they never stay unemployed for long and never fall into the category of long-term unemployed. What does the grant mean for Fort Meade? We asked Fort Meade's Army Transition Services Manager, George Matthews. He says that the grant will help service members acquire certification and training that will make them more employable. In this particular space, in the Fort Meade, Anne Arundel County, Howard County area, cyber is a real big deal. Well, there are certification programs then that can move a person from where they are right now into that kind of business. And when one does that, one is going to recognize an immediate increase in employability as well as income. And so you may be someone who's working in the 704th or, or the 780th who may have those kinds of skills on a peripheral, but to really make it through that firewall, you need some specific type of certification. Uh, and that's what it does. The statewide grant will aid transitioning and retired service members at Fort Meade, at Joint Base of Andrews, Naval Air Station Patuxent River, and Aberdeen Proving Ground. Turning to holiday news, I have several announcements. We'll start with the installation tree lighting ceremony. That's coming up Friday, December 9th from 5 to 6 p.m. at the Main Post Chapel. You can enjoy music, refreshments, and of course, a visit with Santa. In a related story, if you don't make the tree lighting, Santa is making another appearance at the Club Mead Breakfast with Santa on Saturday, December 10th. The breakfast buffet will be served from 8 to 11. Activities include a letter to Santa writing workshop, a cookie decorating station, story time with Mrs. Claus, and of course, photos with Santa. Tickets are a must. Call 301-677-1437 for more information. Meanwhile, the U.S. Army Field Band is gearing up for their annual Sound of the Bells Christmas concert schedule. The concert band and soldiers chorus will perform Saturday, December 3rd and Sunday, December 4th at the Hippodrome Theater in Baltimore. The Jazz Ambassadors take the stage at the Mead High School Auditorium on Wednesday, December 7th at 7 p.m. The Jazz Ambassadors are performing two shows Saturday, December 10th at the Centennial High School Auditorium in Ellicott City. You need a ticket for any of these shows, even the one at Fort Meade, go to www.armyfieldband.com for more information. We close tonight with an observance of Native American Indian History Month from Army.mil. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great holiday weekend and a great Meade week. Oh, hey.